excuse me, hi. I'm going to be filming it, so I'm thinking where the best place is to um, get the sound of the ceremony. That's where the priest will be speaking? Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Does this move? Do they move this around? Yes. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, maybe we have some tape. Right, or down here. For now, I'll leave it right here, but I will tape it. The ceremony begins in like 10 minutes. Okay. You'll see me very soon.
it's okay.
Christus Thank you. 
In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the laws of perfection in this holy Orthodox Church in front of the holy altar of God in the midst of this congregation, we declare the marriage of the Orthodox son Kirolus to the Orthodox daughter Christina. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Almighty. I think Let us all pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the founder of those of perfection, we declare the marriage of the blessed Orthodox daughter Christine to the blessed Orthodox son Carlos. Blessed be his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
let us all pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the Statue of Perfection, and the author of the Law of Graces, we complete in this Orthodox assembly before the altar of God, and of the Lord of Hosts, the union and the possession and marriage of the Blessed Orthodox Son, Kirullus, to the Blessed Orthodox Daughter, Christina. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Pada. Thankfully, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let us give thanks, professional and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guided us, accepted us unto himself, spared us, supported us, and brought us this hour. Let us also ask him to guard this holy day and all the days of our life. The Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints. For that which is good on our behalf at all times, and to bless the bridegroom Kurlos and the bride Christina, and forgive us our sins. Lord, the Treat your goodness, O lover of mankind. 
Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace. With your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us. And from all your people, and from Corollus and Christine, and from this holy place that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. It is you who has given us the authority to answer and scorn and all the power of the enemy. The Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who adorned the heavens with the stars and manifested the earth in the beauty of the flowers, bearing fruits of diverse kinds, who has bestowed on mankind heavenly things, and has given unto them the comforts of the earth. He also now, O good one and lover of mankind, we treat you, bless this garment which are set forth. Amen. Amen. That they may be unto your service garments of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. Garments of joy and gladness. Keep them pure in soul, body, and spirit. Let the day be spent in peace and happiness through the doing of righteousness. Bestow upon them the enjoyment of things of heaven, things of earth, may they be rich in the works of righteousness. Their houses and their souls fill them with every good thing. May they be worthy to do your good will at all times. For you are merciful, plenteous in compassion and righteousness. And unto you is due glory and good Father and the Holy Spirit, the life given one essence with you now for all ages. Amen. The raiment of chastity has been given to this bridegroom. And the crown of joy has been placed upon his head. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Ten oars, ten mark of the Nimbe kyotin aga, thos nimbi ebnelma 
Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Ephesians. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he may present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish, so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his, holy, of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Ere ne 
Unless the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saint and honored disciples and honored apostles, many prophets are righteous men, have that saint you have not seen them, and to hear the things of people have heard them as for you. Bless you with your eyes, for they see your ears may hear, may become worthy and act according to the gospels through the petition of you. Saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those of us, us remember them in our prayers. And supplicate to offer your God repose the souls of those who have fallen asleep and heal those who are sick. For you are our life, our salvation, our hope, our healing, our resurrection. Alleluia, Alleluia, Jesus, Christ, Sepor, and Tepo. Of Tom Fevol, Genesmo, Ot Gembi, Emma Chantale, Elo, Alleluia. Stand in the fear of God. And let us hear the Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel. According to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist, may his blessings. the psalms of our father David, the prophet and king. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like olive plants all around your table. Oh, 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 oh. It is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, our God, our Savior, our King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is due all glory forever. Amen. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together... Let not men separate. Glory be to God for it. Amen. 
Fathers, we beseech you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and everything therein, and adorned them with your wisdom, we beseech you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who made man in his image after his likeness and placed him in a paradise of joy, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who created woman from Adam's side and gave her to him as a helper fit for him, we beseech you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Abraham and Sarah and made her a wife for him and granted him the title of the head of all patriarchs, we beseech you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who preserved Isaac and chose for him Rebekah and delivered him from his enemies, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as a wife and did grant them to be heirs for the promise, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who raised up Joseph and grant him Asenath as a wife, and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have O you who was pleased to be born of a virgin in the fullness of time and enlightened mankind, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Can of Galilee, bless this marriage as you bless that marriage, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have O God, who transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his, div of his divinity, bless your two servants, Carolus and Christina, and purify them for your love for mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who 
attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed that wedding and transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity, bless and guard this wedding of your two servants, Carolus and Christina, in peace, harmony, and love, and protect them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are beneficent, compassionate, full of goodness and affection, O God, make us glorify your goodness, O lover of mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy upon us. O Christ the Logos of the Father, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Oh God. In the wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, truly. Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontiac Sword, creator of heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became men. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. He ascended to the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of Christ. Who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is the worship and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess from baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. I mean, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O oh God, who is eternal and everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit, and his, whose power had no end, who made man from the earth and gave him a woman out of his side and accommodated her for him as a helper fit for him, as it pleases your lordship and goodness, because it is not good for a man to be alone, we ask you also now, our God, to join your two servants, Krolos and Christina, to be united to each other in one body, and to enter into the law of joy, and to abide in your truthful teachings, grant them a living fruit out of the womb, of the womb, so that they rejoice in their birth of good children, and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, the Father and Savior Jesus Christ, who anointed out of the fruit of the rich, all of three priests, kings, and prophets, we pray and entreat you, O God, lover of mankind, to bless this oil, so it becomes the iron oil of sanctify your servants, Carlos and Christine. Amen. Amen. Weapon of righteousness and justice. Amen. Amen. An anointment of purity and incorruption. Amen. Amen. Light and fading beauty. Amen. Amen. Joy, ornament, and true comfort. Amen. Amen. Power, salvation, and victory over all the deeds of the adversary. Amen. Amen. Renewal of salvation to their souls, body, and spirits. Amen. Amen. Wealth with the fruits of good deeds. Amen. 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 
glory and honor to your holy name with your holy begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the life giver who is one essence with you, and now and forever and ever. Amen. May the soil destroy demons, the soil is against evil spirits. This is the oil of Holy Spirits through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Lord, Holy God, who crowned the saints with unfading crowns and reconciled and united the heavenly and earthly being, O Master, bless now these crowns which are going to set upon your servants, Carlos and Christine. Amen. Amen. Crowns of glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Crowns of blessing and salvation. Amen. Amen. Crowns of joy and happiness. Amen. Amen. Crowns of jubilation and delight, Amen. Amen. Crowns of virtue and righteousness, Amen. Amen. Crowns of wisdom and understanding, Amen. Amen. Crowns of comfort and confirmation. Grant, Carlos and Christina, who shall wear them the protection of the angel of safety, the bond of love, guard them against all evil thoughts and desires. Let your mercy be upon them, hear the voice of their prayers, set your fear in their hearts, provide them with everything they need without delay. Give them joy through their sons and daughters, make their children good and true members of your only universal Orthodox Church. Guide their way in righteousness through the goodwill of your good Father and the Holy Spirit. Crowns, oh, priest of Emmanuel, praise the crowns, oh, Groom and Christy in the Place, O Lord, upon your two servants crowns of unvanquished grace. Amen. Amen. Crowns of elevated and everlasting glory. Amen. Amen. Crowns of unopposed and unattacked good faith and bless all their actions. Amen. 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 For you, 
Christ our God, our the giver of all good things, and glory and honor are due to you, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is one essence with you now and forever on to the ages of all ages. Amen. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, crown them with glory and honor, O Father. Amen. Amen. Bless them, O only begotten Son. Amen. Amen. Sanctify them, O Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, since you have been present, present at this blessed time before the sanctuary of the Lord of hosts and his holy altar and this Orthodox gathering, you have been joined by this blessing, blessed marriage and holy crowning, according to this rite and this law. So also the rest of the fathers, the believers, took one wife in purity and, clean, and cleanness for the sake of descendants and childbearing. So you should know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another. And let each of you be faithful to the other according to our teacher Paul the Apostle. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Receive, O Kiron, Los a bride who is yours. Jesus Christ has given her to you. And at the hands of the priest, he has presented her to you. And bless you for winning holy. My blessed son, Kurulus, who, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife at this blessed hour with a clear conscience, a pure soul, and a full heart. Excel in doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her. Hasten to do that which will gladden her heart. Today, you're responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning in a spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you. When you accept what has been commanded of you, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes, grant you a long age and prosperous life. 
and prosper your outcome in this life and thereafter. Listen, O Christina, and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. For your chastity has appealed to Kirolos, for he is your husband, and to him you will submit. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And you, my blessed daughter, Christina, and happy pride, you have heard what was commanded to Kirolos, your husband. You must always honor and respect him. Do not disagree with him, but increase your obedience to him over what was commanded many times. For you are now alone with him, and he is responsible for you instead of your parents. You must receive him with joy and share. Do not ignore any of his rights upon you, and fear God in all your deeds with him, because God, the Most High, have commanded you to submit to him as he also should submit to you, by the way. And obey him, and also he has to obey you. So obey him as our mother Sarah in love obeyed our father Abraham and used to address him, my Lord, the God looked upon your obedience and blessed him and gave her Isaac in her old age and made her offsprings like the stars of the heaven and the sand of the seashore. So if you observe what we instructed you to do, and follow all the commandments, the Lord will support you, provide you with all livelihood. Blessings will descend upon your home, and he will grant you blessed children who will find your heart filled with your heart with drawing lads. A pure marriage and a revered crown. Blessed, O oh Lord, amen. You will, as you bless the wedding, I came of Galilee, for Kirolos the bridegroom and Christina the bride. Lord have mercy. God bless both of you as he blessed Noah and his wife when they came out of the ark to start the new life. May he bless you as he blessed Abraham and he, with Sarah and Jacob and Isaac with Rebekah and Jacob with his marriage. May the Lord who is began his divine miracles at the wedding of Cana of Galilee bless both of you in your new life and bless your house and transform the things which has created division into means of blessings and fill your hearts with spiritual life. May he continue, continue to his blessings and support of, to all of you. I grant you a long, happy life with blessed children. May he accept our prayers for this blessed ceremony. Reward us and grant us the incorruption, incorruptible in the place of incorruptible, the heavenly instead of earthly, and the forgive us our sins and save us from the ways of the devil. May he also bless all those who attended with high mighty right and grant them heavenly joy free them from trouble through the intercession of our holy mother the blessed virgin mary the mother of salvation who is preferred over all mankind and the honored martyr saint mark saint evangelist and saint abraham our intercessor make us worship it together our father who art in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil one and rise she saw our lord god is king of power the glory of heaven and be Christ all sees us been joy. Aski philosophy monto kiri o klenate. Eno pion so kiri e. Os komente o meta vovo amin. Ketom nem wati. So amin alleluia dok sabat rike. Eyo ke agi om nem wati ke ninkai. Ke yastos e onas toni onana. Then all she will go and must be open choice. He says, Be, be, so step or and step or be it of convey Volcanius Mot can be. 
King of peace, give us your peace, bestow your peace upon us, forgive us our sins, for thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us all pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Now the love of the Father, the grace of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace, peace be with you. All Mabruk. There will be no receiving. The, the, the family and the bride and bridegroom will not receive uh, congratulation at the door. They will receive it at the reception place. So we're going to go directly to there. Thank you. Christo. Oh, oh. 